up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm really, really excited about this one. I got this in yesterday, and I can't wait to unbox it. In this video, we are going to be unboxing the official Funko mystery box. This is a mystery Funko Pop box, of course. You guys know there's so many companies out there right now doing Funko Pop mystery boxes, and Funko finally got on the game. So this came straight from the Funko, well, I'm not going to say headquarters, but it came, yeah, I think it did. And they sold this on their pop-up shop, I think last Wednesday. It was one of their releases. It was super expensive. Expensive. Okay, this it was really expensive. I don't think there was any question of whether I was gonna get it or not But I was like dang that's expensive So this box cost regular price. It was $75. So that was the the cost of the box, right? Shipping pay I had to pay $6.95, which is very the same as all of their like this box cost the same amount to ship to me as any of their other pop boxes cause when you buy one Funko Pop and it comes to you in this like little box, it's the same price. So $6.95 and I did have to pay $6.94 for taxes. I don't know why, cause they are in Seattle. But anyways, in total, this box cost $88.89. So we're gonna say $89. <sighs> for a Funko Pop mystery box, that is pretty expensive. Now here's the thing. And based off the email they sent, each Funko mystery bundle is going to have six distinct pops. The bundle boasts one 2019 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive pop and five Funko Shop exclusive pops. Um, some of the grails, they call them marquee items, but the grails that you could get are Freddy Funko as Genie, Freddy Funko as Metallic Genie, and Freddy Funko as Frankenstein. Now, I don't know how many Grail pulls they had. If they only had one, then I already know somebody else got, I don't know if it was, I saw on Instagram yesterday that somebody had pulled either the Metallic Genie or the regular Genie. So those are no longer available if there was only one. Now, because this is Funko, I feel like they probably have the capabilities of adding way more, like, grail numbers than the normal companies. Usually in a company there's one grail and everyone's going for that one grail. So hopefully Funko was able to add more like grails. So maybe they had like three of each one or 10 of each one. That would be really cool. Anyways, I'm really excited to open this. Like I said, this came actually pretty quick. It came yesterday morning. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I took a picture of this because I saw this on the bottom and I was like, I swear. I definitely also kind of shook the box a little bit because I was like, if I have a box of cereal, like a bunch of cereals, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be a happy camper, but I don't think that's the case. And I don't know if there's going to be a box inside of another box because this is quite an odd shaped box. Like, I don't know how, if there's six Funko Pops in here. I mean, there's got to be another, maybe it's this way, actually. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird shape. All right. I wonder what, so basically... You're looking for the grail pools, but then also if you don't get the grail pools, then in theory we should be getting at least one Comic-Con pop. And I'm wondering, what if I got another Gotenks with the mitten hands? That would be kind of funny. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? I don't know if there's going to be a box inside of this box or if it's just going to be Funko Pops. Let's check it out. It's a, it's a box inside of a box. Okay, so that makes me feel better. So they just used this box, which was an old cereal box. All of my wake up alarms are, are going off, so I gotta shut them all off. Shut them down. Okay, so here we go. This is our Funko Shop, Funko Shop, what is this called? Pop Blind Bundle Set. I don't know what they're calling it. I have no idea, but this is what, that's what they call it on the tag. You guys ready? Let's see if we can do this. I'm very excited about this one. My anxiety is a little bit high because I'm anxious. I'm like so excited. I can't wait to see what's in it. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what we're going to see. So I can already tell you that we didn't get, we did, I know I can see which San Diego pop we got, but we did not get any grail pools. Womp, womp, womp. That's okay. I'm pretty sure that it was pretty slim. So this was the discussion amongst 
everybody about this box was obviously this is a way for Funko to get rid of all of their shop, like their pop, the, the pops that they've had on their shop forever that no one buys. This is a great way. I mean, isn't this why everyone does mystery boxes, right? Is that you have a bunch of like random pops that nobody wants. And so you put a mystery box together where they could get a grail, but really you can just get rid of your inventory and stock. So I'm pretty sure that's what was happening here. So let's go ahead and check out what pops we got. The first pop we got is Fooper. I actually have a couple of these because, again, they've been sitting on the Funko shop forever. So I, at one point, I think I bought two, and I bought two so that it would make the shipping cost worth it more for me because I think, I think they just charge you $6.95 shipping no matter how many pops you get. So that's from Fantastic Beasts. The next pop that we got is, oh, this is our um, Flocked Rafiki. I can't remember if I got this or not, to be honest. Um, I thought I did. Maybe I haven't opened it, although I think I opened all of my Funko boxes already. So, I don't really know, but he's flocked, so that's cool. Like, I'm not against this. He looks so small on the side of the box. <laughs> this is the set that he came from. Okay, what else do we have? We have Big Al. <laughs> This is, uh, is this one of the, I think this is from the sp the Spastic, oh yeah, Spastic Plastic set. I at some point was collecting some of these. I like the, the designs that they have on some of these, but then they started releasing them all the time, and then I was like, nah, I can't. Oh no, I lost my focus. I lost my focus. What happened? So there's that. He's holding like a martini or something. All right, next we have... I don't remember this. We have an alien pop. This is Ripley holding Jonesy. I like little Jonesy, the little cat that she's holding. I don't go on the Funko shop all that much. Now that they've merged, I've definitely been on it more and like been looking at some random items that they sell on there. I don't know if this is one that's just been sitting on the site. I don't usually, usually, honestly, usually like People pops, so pops of actual people, don't usually sit on the Funko site very long. They usually sell out during the Wednesday release. Okay, we got another spastic plastic pop. This is Gil, orange Gil. I know that there's like a million different colors of Gil, I feel like, but there's that. And we'll check the values of these. I can't imagine any of these are going to go for very high values because I'm pretty sure these are, again, the ones that they couldn't get rid of. So our San Diego Comic-Con pop that we got was our Toucan. I do have this pop already. You know what would have been really cool? Funko would have at least given us like the con stickers. I think that would have made this so much more worth it. This is the shared exclusive sticker. So this is the exact pop that you could get online during their Wednesday release. So I did pick this up. Um, during their, actually, I don't know if they released these on Wednesdays. They might have released their San Diego Comic-Con pops on a Friday, I believe. But I did get that one online. Um, that one sold out, but it didn't sell out super fast. It wasn't as fast as, let's say, like the Batman holding the bag. Um, but yeah, okay, so these are all the pops we got. I'm really excited, what I'm excited about since I didn't win big, I'm excited as people start receiving their boxes because I don't think many people have received their boxes yet. I'm excited to watch videos of them unboxing just to see like, did everyone get like all the same pops and then the just the one variant of the San Diego Comic-Con pop and or if you got the pool with the genie. Um, I would have loved to get a Freddy Funko pop, any Freddy Funko pop, honestly. It doesn't have to be like the fancy ones, but I love Freddy Funko, so I would have been a fan of that. Let's go ahead and check our pricing. So again, this was in total, what do we say, $89, I think. Let's go ahead and see, and that's with shipping, but I wanna see if these six pops will value um, that price point. I don't actually know if it's going to or not because like I said the Funko shop exclusives, a lot of the pop-up shop exclusives, it cost me about what? It's like 15 plus the seven so it costs about 22 to 23 dollars to actually get these pops to me and a lot of them haven't been holding their the same value so they haven't been able to hold, I mean a lot of them are worth like 
$15 or $20 at most. And so they haven't been able to retain a lot of value. But let's go ahead and check out what we have. I'm using the Funko app if you guys were wondering. If anybody wants an update, I have been, I have, I kind of stopped filming videos of me adding pops to my collection, um, but I had to start doing it just because I needed to organize my pops. So currently my collection is sitting at whatever that says. I can't actually see it. 684 items, and that includes dorbs and other things. Um, and the value is currently sitting at $12,144. I do have quite a bit of items, I believe, that don't have values attached to them. Actually, that's not true. Ever since they moved over to the Funko app, I do have values for everything. So that's exciting. Um, okay. Sorry, let's go ahead and search the pricing and see what these are valued at. So first and foremost, we have Fooper, $14. See, so they were selling this on their shop for $15. It's only worth $14. So that's what I was kind of talking about is like the value is not really retaining itself. $17 for the Rafiki flocked. That's not terrible. If we can get at least $15 to $17 for each of these, then it is worth it because the bundle was only $90. And even though $90 sounds expensive, again, if you're paying $23 for each of these pops, then it, it is worth it. It's a better price point. Oh, guess how much this pop is worth? That pop is worth a good old $8. That's not very good. Okay, so our Ripley pop, $22. Okay, so Ripley right now, is our best pop. Let's do our orange gill. $17, that's not terrible. Oh man, I think we're gonna at least get our value, I think. $35, um, but $35 for the con exclusive. So I don't know if, I'm gonna put $35, but I, I don't think, I think this pop is probably worth more around 25 to 30. So five to $10 less because it doesn't have the actual con sticker, has the shared sticker. So in total, this is valued at $113. So for value wise, what did I say? I paid $89. So we got $24 extra value. So this was almost like buy their mystery box with a chance of a drop. And it's like basically buy five, get one free. That's kind of what it ended up being. Um, but I mean, it's not terrible for a mystery box. I think because it's coming directly from Funko, there's definitely high expectations. And I think they, they, their possibilities were unlimited. If Funko starts doing mystery boxes, I mean, they could go ham on these because they don't even need to do the shop exclusives. They could say like, oh, out of six pops, I'm going to give you three shop exclusives. You have a chance at some type of grail and then the rest are going to be common pops. They could totally, I mean, I, I can only imagine that their possibilities would be endless to do this. And they probably have access to some like really legitimate grails, which would be super, super cool. So I do hope that Funko gets into the, um, the mystery pop game, the mystery, the Funko mystery pop box game, I guess I would call it. Um, maybe not so much with like six pops on I'm sure they do that just to keep the shipping cost down, like get rid of as much, um, as they can and, you know, get more money. So I can imagine that. I don't see them doing mystery pops where it's like one pop per box, but they could, if they did, they would sell out. People would buy it. I would buy it. So Funko, get on that. Um, Man, I'm just thinking about all the grails that Funko has access to. Like, they could totally kill the mystery pop game. So, all right. Well, it, this wasn't terrible. The value was good. Of course, I got a bunch of pops that I'm not a huge fan of. I do like the Toucan. It's a cool pop. Uh, I did, again, already have this one, but that's a cool one to get. There's a couple other con exclusives that I wouldn't have minded getting, but I can't complain. So, we did not get the really fancy Genie Pop or Freddy Funko as Frankenstein, although I don't really want Freddy Funko as Frankenstein, but I wouldn't have minded Freddy Funko as Genie, but I knew that those pops, those ones are going for like a super high value, so. All right, well, there you have it. These are the six pops I got.
That is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Uh, I'm really excited to hear what other people got, so if you start getting your Funko Pop mystery box in, let me know what six pops you got, if they're similar to these or if they're completely different. I'm just interested to see, so let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Yasmin, Lena, Lima, sorry, Yasmin Lima. You get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all the support. You asked very nicely. You said please, and you asked, can I have the video shout out, please? And I said, yes, you can. So, Yasmin Lima, you are getting the video shout out. Shout out to you, Yasmin Lima. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.